my neighbors are outside and I'm talking really loud. So they probably think I'm on acid, but um... When was that ever not an assumption? I don't know. So I think we've all had our fair share of experiences with fuckboys. Am I right or am I right? July 13th, I met the fuckboy that I've been talking to that I was in like an internet relationship with. Meeting him brought back my uh, PTSD of boys. So we're going to explain what happened with it. So we're going to explain my fuckboy experience with him. So around the end of 2014, I had created an Instagram and got a, like a couple thousand followers. And with those couple thousands of followers came fuckboys. But one of them was this kid, I'm just gonna use it by his Instagram name. Boy wonder. So we met over Instagram in 2014. He had liked my to be honest post. I was like, huh. liking comment for a to be honest. I got a bunch of comments and then I ended up falling asleep. So I didn't get to his. The next morning he messaged me and he was like, I'm still waiting for my to be honest. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? So I go to his post and I go to one of his photos and I'm like, ha ha ha. Sorry, I'll put like a screen grab on the photo. Haha, uh -huh, sorry, I was totally like sleeping, but like you're chill or whatever. I don't know if that's what I said, but we basically exchanged Snapchats and we started talking. It was like small talk, so it wasn't anything important, but that's basically how we got to know each other. Then in the middle of 2015 summer, I was an emotional ass mess. Thank you, Boy Wonder, for putting up with my crazy ass. I didn't really want to grow feelings for him, but like the way he is, he's that fuck boy that's like, baby girl, like, I love you, you're the only one. He really didn't say any of that stuff, but like as we started liking each other more, he was like, oh my god, I love you, like you're the best. And I was like, bitch, I know, like the fuck? We were like ooing each other and we would talk on the phone for like four hours. He lives in Maryland, I live in New Mexico, and we're basically two hours apart. For whatever reason, we both wanted to go into each other's Instagram accounts. I feel like this is just like a girl thing if it's if you don't do this congratulations maybe it's just like a i'm a petty ass bitch and want to like snoop through his dms i don't know i feel like it's a girl thing but it might not be i would see that he liked girls photos a lot but i didn't really think anything of it because like it's just liking a girl's photo it's not like he's asking to stick his dick in their mouth so i'm i don't really like get offended even when i used to see him like comment like hard eyes on girls photos i really wouldn't do anything because first off we weren't in a relationship we acted like we were but we technically weren't I would see that he would like DM girls and like I am NOT that bitch that's like why the fuck are you DMing her I let it slide off my back but I that was like a red sign red sign is like a red flag it was a red flag he would always talk about how he's gonna fly down to New Mexico to see me at that time I was actually going to move to Florida which I did that'll be a whole nother story time but I moved to Florida and he was talking about how he was going to come visit me. That didn't happen. My mom knew about him. My friends knew about him. I was his first woman crush Wednesday on Instagram. Hey bitches, competition right here. This crusty ass bitch goes onto one of my photos and tags her friend and she was like, oh my god, Boy Wonder's new girl looks like Bugs Bunny. Bitch, you don't think I know this shit? I know I look like a fucking tortoise, but tortoises are cute ass shit. Do you guys remember those like Instagram contests that everybody would enter? It's like, oh my god, like cutest with brown hair, cutest with blonde hair. I had always entered those contests, that's how I got so many followers. And this one girl had entered a contest with me. She got third place, I got second place, and I knew like right away that girl was going to be an issue. Girls are detectives. I don't know why boys try to lie about that shit. Girls are literally detectives. Anyways, um, so I go into his Instagram and right away I see a DM of to this girl. If I find anything of the sort of like screenshots from his like Instagram or whatever, I will put them in the video. If I don't feel like being petty, I probably won't, so.
He was basically flirting with her in a way that was like, mm, yeah, like, what are you trying to do, boo? All the other girls, I had, like, pushed aside because some of them he knew in person. So I, like, I wasn't going to be like, don't talk to that girl. Like, what the fuck are you doing? I would never tell a guy, don't talk to that girl because I'm not like that. But I was, like, aggravated because I pushed aside all the other girls that he was DMing and commenting on their photos. This one bitch just got to me. She was hella pretty and I was not going to deal with that, so. That cuts really into like the second of me. Anyway. So I texted him about it and he was saying something like, oh, my head hurts. Like, blah, 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 blah. do something about it. And I was like, why don't you tell your other girls to do something about it? Like, the fuck? I don't need you. You don't need me. Like, he was basically telling me like he didn't have anybody else and I was the only girl he talked to. He would like claim to care so much and like this is why I don't deal with like any person anymore. But basically we had stopped talking and he would always snapchat me and I'd snapchat him back but it wasn't like, it was something he would send to his whole fucking snapchat basically. And one day like I got sad because I missed him and I was like why don't you like, why do you snapchat me if you're not gonna answer me when I snapchat back and he was like oh cause you hate me and I was like well obviously bitch. If I am answering you, I don't fucking hate you, like... So basically, we started talking again, and it was all Gucci, and he told me, like, he was going to travel through the United States this summer, and he's gonna, might go through New... Uh, he might go through New Mexico and I was like, oh, yeah, that's really cool I was really really nervous to meet him the day He wanted to meet up was like a weekday So nobody could take me no parent could take me I kept putting off finding a ride and it was making me sad because I really did want to meet him So Dustin found out we got a ride to the mall. It was Gucci ass shit It was super awkward. It like it wasn't awkward, but he was just walking on his phone the whole time Me and Dustin would constantly ask him like hey, what do you want to do? And he was like, I don't know, like, I don't know what's here, like, I'm the guest, I shouldn't choose. But yeah, it was basically a hella lit time when he stopped being a little bitch, so yeah. I hope you guys liked this video, and please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hopefully one day I get to meet more of my internet friends, because I'll just be fucking lit, basically. So yeah, please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.